Welcome back to Running Up the Flagpole with Jake and Cody. I'm Jake. And I'm Cody. All right, Cody. So today we wanted to go over our Flagpole Designer 2.0, which is twice as good as the 1.0 version. Scientifically proven. Exactly. Um, would you be able to run us through on the website kind of some scenarios and how to use it? Yeah, let's go to the website now. So here we are, ConcordAmericanFlagpole.com. And the first step is you're going to go to the Resources tab. It's going to give you a drop down, and you're going to go to the Designer 2.0. From here, it gives you to the Launch page, and let's go ahead and launch it. So now it's going to be pulling up a drop down menu that we can use to design our own flagpole. Yeah, so to start off, it gives you two ways to begin. Um, maybe if you're a dealer that already knows our catalog back and forth, you could plug in exactly the catalog number and it would give you a cut sheet for the product. Um, or maybe you're with a customer in person, you're helping them build a flagpole just for them. Um, so let's, yeah, let's try to run down a scenario where we're building a pole and maybe I'm the customer and you're the dealer. Okay, uh, so first here, we're gonna pretend you don't know a catalog number. Yep. So we'll go to the flagpole series menu here, click it, gives you a drop down box of every item that is currently on the flagpole designer 2.0. Okay, yeah, so I'm a homeowner, uh, let's say an external pole, uh, probably want something with a revolving truck, so a Continental. Yep, so we'll go ahead and click Continental. It'll bring you down to Anchorage type. So as you've noticed here, one step leads to the next, and we're mm -hmm. kind of designing this pole just like that. So, yeah, so you type, can't end up with anything that isn't compatible, right? Like you've seen correct. specs where it's, yeah, exactly. Okay. So here we have ground sleeve and shoe base. Probably want a ground sleeve. Sounds about right. And then most important mounting height, everywhere from 20 to 80 has your sections in case you prefer a two section over a one. Mm -hmm. So for me, just a one story home, I probably want a 25 foot pole. 25. Now we're on to the butt diameter. As we know, butt diameter and wall thickness are important for wind speeds. A consumer isn't really going to need to know that and know that information off the top of their head. So this is going right. to help us out. Yeah. So this is where I would need you to show me what I need for my space, because I might not even know what you're talking about as far as a butt diameter or a wall thickness. Correct. So in this case, we're going to go ahead. We'll shoot in the middle for five. It drops us our wall thickness and wind speed with this drop down. It'll give you the wall thicknesses and then the wind speed based on not only the wall thickness, but the butt diameter. So in Texas, 98 miles an hour should take care of you. Five inch, one, two, five, you're good to go. Opens up your finish choices. Okay, yeah, I'd say satin. Satin, perfect. Now we have your truck choices from regular inline to ball truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as again, a homeowner, I probably don't need anything special. So just the standard inline truck. Classic. Now we're going to add an ornament. This is already pre-checked. If you don't click it off, it goes away. But in this case, definitely want, want an ornament. Definitely want it. We have balls, eagles, okay, and several finials. That's cool. It lets you select one or the other. Um, for me, I I know Concord's got the best balls, so I would choose just a gold ball. Good choice. Drops us down to your cleat security from your regular cleat all the way up to a cover kit that includes a halyard channel. Yeah, I don't think my neighborhood's that bad, so I would just say just a standard cleat. Standard cleat. Currently, the standard mounting height is four and a half feet. You might get a spec or another reason to adjust this, and you can. Yeah, it's like if someone if you needed to make it handicap accessible, you might lower it. Yeah, we could drop this to three feet, so this, now the new security height will be three feet above grade. Okay. So from here, add collar. All of our flagpoles already come with a collar. It's automatically checked. If you don't, for whatever reason, you can click it off, but in this case, I think you do. We got spun, we got cast, and we have cast and decorative. Yeah, let's just go standard spun collar. Perfect, standard spun collar. So we've actually finished designing the flagpole from start wow. to finish. Yeah. So in this location, you can add your customer details so that you can have it on that cut sheet or reference it later. So I'll fill in some things. Right, so here. you're making it, in this case, it's for me, a homeowner, or if maybe you were trying to put a submittal together for a project you're bidding on commercially, um, it's a great way to personalize a cut sheet for a specific job. Mm -hmm. So I'll throw a little bit of information in there. 
probably just want one of those bad boys and I'll go ahead and finish this. And so this will pull up. We saw a little piece of it earlier, just a quick snag of, you know, just a cut sheet. Exactly. Yeah, there it is. So exactly what I'm ordering. So when you show a customer this sheet, they know exactly what to expect um, and have all the information to show them what they're going to get. Yeah. So this is a flagpole we designed every single piece along the way with its own part number in case you have to reorder it at a later date. And then the full part number up here for when you're making that PO. Perfect. Yeah. And I, so I noticed the bottom two, we talked a little bit about it in our last video, um, the specifications. So it's exactly what I need to plug in for a freight quote, like we mentioned in the last video. Yeah, you run one of these. All that information that we had requested in that video is actually located right here with flag post sections and weights. Yeah. So now with both tools, I've basically got exactly what I'm getting. I can get a quote for it. I can price out freight and I can show somebody exactly what they're going to get. Yeah, and uh, you can do it anywhere that has internet. Uh, yeah, that's great. Um, well, Cody, thanks for showing me how to run through this. Um, this has been Run Up the Flagpole, Jake and Cody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Where? Meeting info? Mm -hmm. Why do I hear people talking over here? No, no, no. Oh, I hit him, I hit wave. What did we do?